What's up, YouTube? Menace Effects Productions. Um, I'm about to throw a, like a little sample tutorial at you. Um, I did some stuff trying to use the sampler, slicer, and then the FPC. Um, I got a question if I can do it showing you how to make a beat with it and everything, like a full video. So I'm going to try and knock that out. So I'm going to do, this is going to be part one. I'm not using any controllers or anything like that. I'm going to use just the keyboard computer and then the internal sampler in a FL Studio and show you all how to kind of make a beat, put it together. And um, so we're going to get to it. Hopefully you like the video. If you got any questions, you know, let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe. So let's get to it. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and load up a sample. I kind of already put up Edison, but you can click on Master right here, you know, or wh whichever channel you want, doesn't matter. Then right here, and you can go to Select, you can pull up Edison. But I already got that. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click right here to load sample. I already got the sample I want. It's a Marvin Cease. It's called, uh, I think, Too Good to Be With You or something like that. But, um, all right, once this loads up, yeah, Too Good to Be With You, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all hear it real quick, and then we'll move on to the next segment, and um, I'll start uh, breaking down a sample and stuff. So, I mean, there we go. It's a, it's a nice little sample. Um, there's some horns in there you didn't hear that I'll probably pull out, though. They got some nice little horn spots and stuff like that. But, um, all right, so on to the next spot. So now that I got the sample I wanted, um, I've kind of already broke down some stuff. I'm going to show you a little bit. Um, I'm doing all this without a USB controller. I'm not using my MPD or, you know, Axiom keyboard. If you do have a controller, you know there's more ways you can do it, and, and I'll go over that. I'll do another video for that after. But um, this I'm basically just going to be showing you how to sample using just the regular, you know, just just cutting it using the sampler. But as you can see, I've made quite a few cuts. Um, if you listen to the beginning, it's got a bunch of different um, hits going on in there. So I'm chopping the hits, but I'm actually cutting it right before the snares. So right here, you know, you got a big spot that's going to be a snare hit. Certain spots you'll see it like I I cut in between the snare hit, so I don't hear it. And I'll only hear, only hear this. So I mean, you know, you get that stutter effect and all that. You know, you can do a lot of things. But I did take some of my hits and I moved them in here. So I got a few different things. So I took the little snare roll. So. I got a few things in there. I'm just kind of playing with it right now. Uh, the drums. Uh, I put some drums together. I have. Um, I did. I sampled a little. A little drum actually out of the sun, the snare. So I threw that in there and uh, I layered it with this snare and like a little clap. Um, I got some Congo drums in here. Then the kick. So just to hear, just like the, you know, the drum pattern. It's real simple. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to go in and EQ everything and stuff, you know, later, and I'm going to do that. Um, the, the, the intro, I just took that one hit I had, and um, if you go right here, now all my stuff I did the same. You, you click Normalize, as you can see, it makes it, you know, the, the little wave file stronger, louder. Uh, the pitch, I adjusted the pitch to 300. So if you, let me see, yep, 300 cents, so plus 300. And um, you click on Functions, or no. There we go. The INS, you you can take release, turn it down and stuff like that, and you, and you can um as long as you hold the sample, it'll play when you let go, and that's how you can stutter things. This is a short hit, so I didn't do it. Um, but this is kind of like the intro so far. <laughs> sounds pretty shitty <laughs> but if you put some drums on it you know it doesn't sound too bad but I'm gonna go in in, in EQ because it's too loud right now but just to give you a feel and 
So, and then, um, yeah, I'm still playing with some stuff. I'll move things around and then we'll come back and I'll show you some more. So now I have everything pretty much done. Um, I, I made a good amount of chops on the samples and stuff, but, uh, I don't know. I really don't like sampling without using my MPD, my controllers now. So I'm going to do a tutorial next on that. Um, just kind of just, just really just showing you how I make a song on it, but it's kind of hard for me because when I get down and do a beat, I don't have time to like, you know, do a video because, you know, you get hooked into doing a song, you know, and then, then it's gone if you keep stopping, you know, kind of lose your fire for it. But so I have everything set up, you know, I put some crashes and difference in here and um, I'll go ahead and just skip to a page and then let y'all listen to the song. You know, it's only about a minute or so. Real simple. You know, it's not a finished beat. It's not something I want to sell or anything like that. It's just simply to see, you know, what what you can do, you know, on FL. So, any questions, let me know. If you like it, rate, comment, subscribe, you know. So, that's about it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial.